that is either the most stupidest wardrobe ever or the most ingenious wardrobe ever because it doesn't take up any space. It turns out the John O'Groats isn't here. It's over there. Behind the bin. It's a bit windy. We'll time lapse from where we are to where we should be. Steamroller. It's all there, isn't it? There's the sign. I'll get out now and film it, but it'd be windy. Big car park though. <laughs> well <done. laughs> As you can see, the car park is rather large. For about four years, me and James that serviced the combine have been planning on driving a combine from John O'Groats to Land's End. Anyway, either he's been getting married or we've been busy with different things. Maybe this year we'll actually do it, but the car park is certainly big enough to fit Alexi on. Well, the idea is we're doing it to raise awareness for, for mental health and suicide in in younger people. So David, who the reason I bought the 1455, me and him used to be into class combines, and James at services, the class combine. He lost a friend with depression as well. So we thought, well, we need to do something. Anyway, we just never get round to doing it because we always end up busy in June. Anyway, maybe this next year we should do it. That's John O'Groats completed now. We've uh, emptied the gift shop with everyone's Christmas presents. So Christmas shopping done as well while we're up here. Charlotte's having a car wee. And then uh, hit the road to Loch Ness. Look what I've found. Right on the edge of Scotland. Literally on the edge. Proper combine. said oh dear when that happened they've all got them baby trailers a red carpet would have been fine they didn't need to lay a new road guys like why are we getting filmed <laughs> them wagons have some sort of double track dumpers on each low loader anyway they're struggling up these hills they're down to about 14 mile an hour now
watch the sea. Thanks, boss. There we go. Looks like a some sort of drilling rig. Generator, some bog mats. And then a big wagon with logs on it. See how slow they got this on the hill now. Massive 12 mile an hour. Up to 13. Up to 14 now. Snow on the mountains now. Nearly the top of the hill with the wagons. neatly ploughed that must have been GPS a big bridge in front of us as well on the A9 It's a Valtra with a, a tree planter on the back, I think. Children. See what this place is like. The distillery. Don't know what combine cut that, but it's not thrashed it very well. Look at this here. Laureate barley. Unfortunately, the distillery is closed for tours, but that is the distillery sort of sour thing, which is the size of an adult giraffe. No expert, but I'd say that's a bonded warehouse full of barrels of whiskey getting matured. Got a class and a steward trailer. <laughs> that was Glen Mirandji whiskey, now we're stuck behind a class tractor in front of that motorhome and the guy that's driving it's probably wondering why I was filming him so if you know him you have to say why first Stuart trailer I've seen in Scotland the rest of all been Bailey's it's a massive plough in there you see it through the trees just turn right around about you see some more ploughing been going on there as well Stuck behind the class again now in front of the log wagon. Love the ploughs up here now. New Holland as well with one on. Is it six for her? Big block up the front as well. John Deere as well with another plough on. Loads of oil rigs there. I don't know whether they've been towed in to be worked on in that bay. Oh, another tractor coming. The New Holland. No load rock. Yeah, there's an oil platform there. I don't know whether that's where it lives or, it, like I say, it's coming for maintenance. Ooh, big bridge. Massey, all in straw. Well, the big bridge coming up. After three quarters across. Of at the roundabout, take the first exit. Whatever it's called. Comoraf Firth, North New Holland. Snow on the mountains. The snow. Yeah. someone's moving house can't really see it but there's a big grain store there 
crossing the bridge now into Inverness. Got like a lot of industry on the edge of the river. There we go, Loch Ness. Through a very dirty window. Finally some clear sky. Go to the lock. So that's Loch Ness, it's absolutely huge. Fortunately them trees are in the way. And if you look closely you can see the Loch Ness monster. Where are we now? The Loch Ness Lodge? Yes. There we go. 23 miles long it is. It's a little boat there on the lock. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf? Well there's a case in a place. Bet you can't mow that with a ride on mower. Doesn't even look sleek, steep on the camera, but that must be like, I don't know, 70 degrees. Lots of people asking about the calendars, hopefully getting printed in the next week and then we can get them posted out to you. So I'm not figured out how to take payments for people and how to send them off, but we're working on it. Also, the open day is on the 15th of January. So again, coming soon, hopefully the, the web address will be in one of the bottom of one of the videos, but I know what it is. And then you can book on there to come to the open days on the 15th of January. Did I say June a minute ago or not? No, I think you said June. No, January, anyway. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.